and we're just going to meet the teams and see what everybody's designs were. Um, the first team you can see are Greek goddesses and gods. <laughs> we're from Dr. Phillips. We're by far the best team here. Really not very really humble. Um, our design is based more off of the Lunar Le um, Mars rover, Mars lander, with the tumbling down. Due to the bump, it's either going to land in this orientation or this orientation. And a ladder would extend from the hatch down. And either way, it's going to be at an incline, which the astronauts can get down. OK, we're here with the American Dream. Let's see what they have got to say. Our modular was designed with a suspension chamber in the center of the egg, which is located directly in the middle of the actual lander itself. Therefore, when, no matter where it lands, the rubber bands holding the, the um, centerpiece in, in, intact will not allow for it to absorb any shock or any pressure because it doesn't hit anything, it just floats. We're here with the Lunarians. We're going to check out their design. Guys, so what are you doing? Tell us a little bit about your design. Okay. Um, well, we are trying to make it look like a lunar lander. And got some source pictures. And we looked at them, and they all have four legs. Um, the bottom is on the equal distribution of the weight on the four legs. So we thought, why not do like a cylindrical design to conform around the egg. When they hit, they compact, but they don't spring back enough because of wire mesh inside of it. These are some other designs that we did, and there's a whole list of experiments that we tried with different materials. Our basic design is a, um, it's a aluminum frame with foam cushioning designed to just kind of bounce and roll a little um, like other groups similar to that of the Mars landers for the robotics with the um, balloon airbag suspension. And Tyler will talk about the physics. Basically all we did was we took and used some basic equations to find the force that this will have of impact on the ground as well as the force that will be transferred to the atmosphere through heat from the friction of the fall. Basically after we figured out you just subtracted that and whatever that new force was, was the force that would, is the uh, amount of absorbing force that the uh, foam that we use would have to use. Alright, we're here with Yuli High, we're really excited they're here all the way almost from Georgia. So, let's hear about um, what you guys did. Tell me a little bit about your land. Okay, well the base of it is made out of cedar wood, glued and the layers high at top compact wood. And then these legs right here are bolted, not bolted, but just the bolt is screwed against the very tight bolt. And they act as stabilizers, so if it tries to flip, it'll hit the stabilizer. This little contraption right here, when we get ready to uh, compete, we're going to slide these down. And that'll act like an impact. Okay. These are gonna slide, it's gonna slide up, and there's foam, there's foam all inside there. Inside the tin foam. It's compressed, right? And then these wings right here are when it goes down, it'll keep it stabilized from falling from tilting in the air. safely to the floor without, how's that going? Anyways, uh, we would like to show you the effects of the suspension chamber on the egg and how it survives the landing from the far up What? As you can see, the egg has survived the landing. Can you take it out? Take it out. Yes, we can. Very much so. In one piece. Alright, time's up. Oh, so much work. 
put a lot of effort into that. That's, that's a hard choice. Okay. Which one do you think is the best? Uh, let's go with that one. Yeah, no, it's definitely no, the best I'll one. Looks like what? all those seconds of hard work paid off. You're fired. You can't fire me. I quit. Why? Where's Caitlin? Oh, you. It was! Yeah! We must land this ship. We must land this ship. We must land this ship. Shout something at me. I won't hear. Cause there is no sound in outer space. I take orders from only me. pretty exciting and I was kind of surprised at how well our lander did because it didn't do that great in tests but it was just it was pretty fun overall. I definitely thought it was a lot more fun than it was going to be and um, it was really interesting seeing the other groups and what they came up with and I thought they would be kind of similar but they're really different so it's cool to see how people come up with things different. It was a lot of work but it was definitely worth it. I totally agree it was a lot of work but uh, it was a great experience you know working together as a team and building something cool. We had great fun working together as a team, building it, and we've had a lot of fun at the competition.